Hello YouTube, welcome back to your uh, PHP register and login tutorial. Um, well, let's get back to it. Um, okay. Now, I've just realized that we are going to want to connect. We were going to want to create a variable for MySQL connect, which is called connect. And now we need a query to select the table. Okay, so we're going to create a variable called query, MySQL query, and now we're going to say select all rows, that's what the asterisk means, from, uh, we called our table users. So from users where username because that's uh hold up username that's what we called it this field equals the variable username which we created earlier now we should uh, we should enter a value into here um, we're going to enter a value ah small screen Insert. All right, the ID is auto increment, so we don't need to enter that. For username, we can just put in Peyton. Password can be one, two, three. Wouldn't recommend that if you were uh, actually signing up for something. And we're gonna click go. Go. Now we're going to browse. I'm sorry, accidentally entered two. Okay. So, now that we have an account created, we can get back to this. Now we need the number of rows. This can come in handy in a lot of ways. So we're going to create a variable called numeros as well num rows uh, mysql num rows so we're taking the num rows from our query and um We'll say if numrows does not equal zero, we will then we will log the user in. Otherwise, or else, rather, we can kill the script and say that user does not exist, or that user hasn't been created. All right, now let's troubleshoot this for errors. Um, 
let's do login section session uh, let's see here account created was Peyton uh, password was one two three okay we have an error on login.php line 16 oh wow that was obvious okay sorry about that now we can run the page page in one two three uh... it's blank no errors have been returned um... that is good now we we should see if it'll work if we put in like um... ha ha bunch of bs password that user hasn't been created alright fantastic everything's working fine alright now to get to logging the user in we're going to have to use a loop um there will be a while loop I guess and uh, we'll say while the variable row that we are not just now creating equals um uh, let's see we are going to need to fetch a row from the query that we've used up here so we'll say my my sequel fetch a sock from our query and and what we're doing is um, fetching the information from here and putting it into an array called row and with our while loop we're going to need our bracket thingies um... let's just indent a little bit alright and then we can say now we're going to create a couple of variables we're going to say database username equals um, row username so our database username the variable equals the username that we created here as an array and which is being fetched from up here so next we will go to uh, take a guess db password equals row password same concept now we need to check if the supplied username and the supplied password are the same as the database the database username and password so we're going to say if uh username equals equals uh, if the username sorry uh, just had a mind block db username and password equals db password triple s not good uh, then we will execute this block of code else we can say like wrong password or what else whatever you'd like um, we then we can echo let's just say you've successfully if that's bugged right logged in save that let's go back to login session Peyton 1 2 3 you've successfully logged in we supply an incorrect password let's say ABC 
wrong password. Um, let's say we supplied a not incorrect password. Let's say we supplied nothing, or let's say we put in a right password one two three, but a wrong username. That user hasn't been created. So as you can see, our login system is working correctly. So uh and we'll cover the rest in the next tutorial. Um the registration and whatnot and um where this can take us to. Uh like we will uh create in the next tutorial, sorry, again, we will create a member page, and we will forward ourselves to that member page if we log in successfully in the next login tutorial. Thank you, and goodbye.